How's it going everybody? We're sticking with niche topics for now, but I hope it's still interesting. I've shown you years ago at this point, I think, that hit stun and block stun can leave you with a short parry indicator. This leads to extremely tight, sometimes one frame parry windows, and unless you know that, some attacks seem pretty much confirmed. A good example for this is Raider's zone attack after he wall splats you and then knees you in the face. That is an attack that's not confirmed, it indeed can be parried. The parry timing is way later than you think. But like I said I've gone over this in the past but there are indeed attacks that you cannot parry and if you try to do so you might open yourself up to be hit by that very attack. The most prevalent ones come from punishes, you know that a specific attack is not confirmed on a light parry for example but you might be unsure whether you can parry it or not. Let's take Raider's light parry as an example. The light parry stun is 900 milliseconds and Raider's top heavy is 1000 milliseconds. Which means it's not confirmed, but this is the exact time window that makes it unparryable as well. Same goes for Kensei's top heavy, JJ's side heavy, and so on. Same goes for guard break as well as parries when you're out of stamina. Always keep that threshold in mind. Guess it pays off knowing the speeds of attacks for once, which even I don't. It's enough to know the outliers which you can easily all look up if you're unsure. If it's 100 milliseconds slower than the applied stun, then you can't parry it. We also have punishes that sometimes include blockable attacks at the end because the attack would cause chip damage. Conqueror has a few of these. On his out of stamina throw for example you land two top heavies and then a chip light. If you switch guard after the throw, that light will become parryable. Same goes for Conqueror's running bash, it confirms nothing for the conk, but the light is unparable if buffered correctly. On a normal bash, conk can throw a buffered side heavy, which is also not parable. This is the same on Tiandi, after a palm strike, a follow up heavy is unparable. With that you can, in theory, inflict chip damage and then go into your phone NMS like follow up and finish someone off like that. Same goes for his kick and a forward dodge heavy. Now we have a completely different kind of unparable. This one is because of distance. I've shown you this in a video way back when, which has been fixed since then. But there is a way to reproduce it again. Attacks with a long range usually come with a lot of phantom range. Now if you try and parry them, it usually moves you forward enough to get hit. If you parry it with a zone option select, then you will always get hit. These option selects have a massive forward movement and put you in range. The reason why you get hit and not parry it is because during the actual parry window you are not in range. So the game isn't selecting the parry option but is selecting the zone. And the zone has forward momentum which moves you into the attack and because of that it connects. Highlander's heavies have always been one of the main culprits when it comes to phantom range but Kensei's zone is the other candidate. Obviously distance needs to be correct or it'll either whiff or will be parryable. Another thing on Kensei that is unparable is the light after a forward throw. Side throws have more recovery so the follow up lights can be parried. Same as back throw. First of all, you can't reaction parry these, the stun makes this 100% a guess, but Kensei's lights have medium hit reaction so they can ledge and increase the ledging distance further. So after a forward throw, the light is safe so you don't have to be worried about getting parried. Valkyrie's pin does confirm a top light against reflex as well as on side deflects. That's why it's the highest damage in one currently in the game. As a static guard hero you cannot parry the top light, it's not confirmed against you, 
but you can't parry it either. Berserker's light follow-up after a zone is a little weird. A buffered light seems unparable if the zone connected, not on Blockstone. Here's why I say it's weird. I knew the side the attack is going to come from, so if I switch my guard to that side during the hit stun of the zone, then I could parry him. If I waited till after, then I couldn't parry him. This shouldn't be a thing and I can't explain why it is, or maybe it isn't, but that way I was able to get the parry pretty consistently, So, uh, and otherwise I didn't. Then we have backstab lights. Everyone is familiar with the Highlander ones, but it's also very prevalent on Black Prior. These backstab lights cover multiple options, yet are extremely safe as they are unparable because of distance. Be aware that forward walking speeds are different depending on character. So, especially as Highlander, doing them out of neutral can put you in danger. And last, it wouldn't be a video about this kind of stuff without having Lawbringer with an even more unique way to make an attack unparable. If a Lawbringer blocks a heavy on the left side, continues to walk to the left, and then throws a light, it will be the perfect distance to be out of range and also unparable. If you attempt to parry it, you will get hit. This is extremely specific, but all Lawbringer players should be familiar with how movement input can mess with the tracking of your neutral lights. This is an extreme example of why this can be an issue. The currently blocked delay between attack chains that make his third light come out faster doesn't make it unparable. Still, a small window. And to make it even better, Conqueror is even more special because he gets to block with his failed parry attempts. This is probably a remnant from back in the day when all the normal hitstone rules just didn't apply to him and he had exceptions for pretty much everything. It shouldn't make too much a difference as he can't parry these attacks either, but the sole difference is that he doesn't get punished for trying it. And that's it for the list, there is no indicator currently that an attack is not parryable for you as the party flash still appears regardless. Ubisoft has removed things that were unclear before or added additional specifications like undodgeable. I'm curious whether this is a big enough deal to fix it or if it's just considered a small nuisance low down on the bug list. Let me know what you think or whether we've forgotten any. Shout out to Dem, Spaniard and Froggy for helping out with finding and recording these. I hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Latest, everybody. Oh, your parents oh, are oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs>